we will learn the fusion of uh, the high uh, resolution images and the low resolution images you have seen the landsat images and in landsat images there are the different bands band number 1 to band number 7 those are having 30 meter resolution while band number 8 which is known as panchromatic band no? that is having 15 meter resolution so 15 resolution images are higher resolution images and used to contain more information while 30 meter resolution images are comparatively coarser resolution images and will give less amount of information there are certain techniques you can fuse these two kinds of the images high resolution images and coarse resolution images and then the product would be multi-spectral high resolution image see panchromatic image as we know that it is the single band image and uh, is uh, hardly used for different kinds of analysis identification of the different object is easy because the resolution is high but at the same time if you want to use it for the different analysis let's say in, in agriculture where the, the spectral response in the different band that is important in that case this panchromatic band will not be useful only the multispectral images especially having the NIR and sweet band you know, those are important as far as agricultural applications are concerned certain techniques have been given when you can use this high resolution image and you can then produce high resolution multi-spectral images multi-spectral images that you know the images which will have the multiple bands the process is same we will open the NV software and then we will open two images one which will have the multiple bands that is known as multi-spectral images and another image which will have uh, higher resolution but the single band that is panchromatic band so these two images would be required so we will open these images open image then go to file volume f in pg practical there is the directory where we had kept all these lens and bands and here you can see that there are the number of bands and the number of subsets are also available we had earlier created a subset of uh, the Pantanagar region with five bands so this is uh, you can see this is the subset of the Pantanagar from band number one to five this we will open so this is basically multispectral image with relatively coarser resolution we will display it in color RGB and the display would be uh, in this case we will display it in the true color composite so when you have to display it in true color composite band number four which is red band that should be paired with the red color that band number three you can see this is green band that should be paired with the green and band number two is the blue band that should be paired with the blue that when you can see that the same colors have been given to these bands load and now you can see this is the true color composite the true color composite means the image as it will appear from the space and now we will open high resolution panchromatic image open panchromatic image or the panchromatic band you can say because it is single band image that is the band number 8 in case of the landsat so we are going to open it band number 8 it has been displayed and now you can open it and the new display load band to new display and you can see this this image is uh, containing uh, more regions but uh, will not affect you know, your process because you no know, automatically the subset would be created if you compare this is Pantanagar region Pantanagar campus and the Pantanagar campus in this case you no know, it is clearly visible while in this case which, which is relatively coarser resolution image you know, in that case Pantanagar region is not so clearly visible now we will go to the transform option and in transform there is the image sharp so image sharpening is basically the image fusion and in this case you can see that there are two sets of uh, the options which are available as HSV color normalized and then you can see there is a line between these two groups 
gram smetic spectral sharpening pc spectral sharpening and cn spectral sharpening if you see three bottom option these all are having this spectral sharpening uh, terms so that means that it will sharpen the image on the basis of the spectral response and in this case you can have no more than three band image which would be sharp while in this case no hsv and the color normalized these used to use only the colors of the image and it can only sharpen the three color bands that is red green and blue if there are more bands those will not be sharpened or if it, those would be sharpened the, the results would not be accurate so first we will see these red green blue options in in that case only three band image can be sharpened so first is hsv and it, it is asking you to provide the input image input image in this case would be coarser resolution image and coarser resolution image has been displayed in the window number one so either you can select from display number one or you can alternatively also select from available band list but because it is already displayed you can select display number one now it is asking you to provide high resolution input image and that is the band number eight of the line set so this time we will select this band number eight you can see this is band number eight say okay and now you can see that it is asking you to provide the name and the path where the, the sharpened image could be stored there are different resampling options we are not going into the detail right now maybe in the later stage we will discuss what these options are but uh, this nearest neighbor no, that used to preserve the original characteristics of the image so we will go with the nearest neighbor option right now and this would be saved on the hard drive in the same directory punt ma no mask and hsv hsv open say ok and you can see immediately a new image has been created with the three bands but in this case no you can see that red has come at the top then the green and the blue has come in the bottom so when you have to display it in the maybe new display so you will have to keep in mind this arrangement of the band no in this case that means if you want to display it in a true color composite thus the first band should be paired with this red color option the second with the second color option that is green third with the third color option that is blue so this 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 you can see and load and now you can see this is the sharpened image and now you can compare this image with this if you see the Spantanagar campus now it is um, prominently visible while in this case now it is not so clear even the boundaries of the fields in this case you know, those are clear enough in order to recognize these independently similarly the simple reason it is quite clear in this case sharpened image while in this case no, it is not so clear so this is the first option then we will see how the second option is working color normalized and the process is again same you will have to select the input image that is the coarser resolution image that is in the display number one so display number one say ok and then you will have to select the high resolution input image that is band 8 of the land set select it say ok and then again you will have to save it on the hard drive and now you can give the name color normalized and you can see that immediately it has been created again the three band image and the sequence is the same red green and blue as it was in the previous case now we can display it in the new display red green and blue the pairing load and now you can see it has also sharpened the images but it has changed the color it has changed the color in comparison to this now you can see there is a clear cut difference in this case no in case of hsv it is preserving all the colors and all the information while in this case it has changed the color and when the color has been changed no the property those would have also been changed when you will try to use this image for different analysis no, you will end up with certain error we will prefer considering these facts we will always prefer this hsv sharpening 
technique when we will have we have to sharpen only red green and blue images i am closing it so that no there is no confusion i am also closing it as well but these are still there in the list now we will consider other techniques and these techniques as i mentioned no these are the spectral sharpening techniques and they used to work on the basis of the wavelength so first we will try to use this first gram smidit spectral sharpening processor and it is asking you to select the low spatial resolution multi band images and that is the pantnagar no mask image if you suppose is having the bigger image and if you want to have a subset the subset is also possible a spectral subset as well as the spatial subset both are possible if you want to apply mask that is also possible say okay and now you will have to select high spatial resolution pan input pan input is the same say okay okay and there are different options but you no know, these options will not be working for you because you no know, they will require the sensor type information and then you know, the sensor height information is not available with the nv so i will suggest you to go with the first option average of the low resolution multi spectral file then choose and now you can see in this case you can see it has sharpened all the five bands those were available in the previous two cases it has only sharpened the three bands but in this case it has sharpened all the bands which were available in the image in the input image we can display now and in this case no the sequence would be preserved like same the sequence as it was in the input image so b1 will be in the top and b5 would be the bottom so if you want to display it in the fcc so you will have to choose this color com and this band combination band number 5 which is an ir band should be given red color band number 4 which is red should be given the green color you can see here and band number 3 which is green you no know, that would be given the blue color and now this play and you can see it is an fcc and the resolution has been improved if you want to compare it with the this previous one which has been displayed in the true color composite you can also make use of the true color composite combination this red to red green to green and blue to blue and now you can see these two images and in this case no this pantnagar campus is clearly visible while in this case no it is not so clear now the next technique transform image sharpening piece spectral sharpening again the input image would be pantnagar say okay then high resolution image would be bandit choose it would be pc okay and you can see it has also sharpened all the five bands and these have been saved in the same sequence as it was in the original image you can see and if you want to display it again in the true color composite new display true color composite would be band number 4 3 and 2 and now you can see this is the pc sharpening and pc sharpening is not so clear the colors have been changed no as it is gram smith sharpening so you can also see no the colors of the fellow fellow field no those have been entirely changed you can also compare with this input image you no know, input image is having this kind of color and these colors are preserved in this case but in this case no these colors have not been preserved so then no if you want to use it for different analysis it will then no produce erroneous results so i will suggest you strongly that you should go with this gram smith sharpening function in order to get the image sharpened third option is uh, within this spectral is seen spectral sharpening and that will require no that every band should be given 
its wavelength because right now the wavelength information has not been written in the file so we will have to write this information in the image and then only we would be able to do it that means the sharpening 